Hey guys, today we'll be doing a, a hard drive upgrade or replacement for an HP model. As you just follow my cursor here, the model is 15-DA0017C8. Um, this is a pretty straightforward and pretty simple uh, hard drive upgrade, so we'll start off with this. Um, if you flip up your laptop up, uh, upside down, you'll see here that there's a bunch of screws here. One in the top, the top middle, uh, left and right here, and one here. Um, there's other screws that are actually kind of hidden. So if you you have what you have to do is you got to remove this rubber strip here. There's one on top here. There's one on at the the bottom here. So once you remove that, um, you you will notice there's actually a bunch of other screws that are actually exposed. So so once I remove that, I kind of just place them here as you can see. Um, you might want to just be careful. I kind of use a, a paring knife here because there's actually a thin strip of 3M tape that's actually underneath these strips. So if you actually happen to remove just the rubber strip without the 3M tape, don't worry about it. You know, it, it even happened to me here. This one here came off really clean, as you can see at the bottom. This one here, the tape didn't even come off. It was just really crappy. So even though I tried really carefully just to remove it together, it didn't come off together. So all I did was literally just poke a hole here, 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 and here. There's four screws here that's actually holding this this top part together, which is right at the, the bottom part of your, your screen hinge. Um, and as you can see here, just, just use your screwdriver, just remove these four screws and you're good to go. And down here, there's three more screws, as you can see, one, two, and three. And so once you remove the, these four screws, the one here and these two here and the three at the bottom, then you can start doing the prying process. And I'll show you here, this is what I find out with this specific model, the easiest place to start the prying without you compromising the structure of your, your laptop or breaking any area here. This is the simplest way. So if you try to, if you put your, your keyboard upwards and you screen down, just try to start the prying close to where you're not too close to this section here because this is too weak. Um, just get close to about an inch away from your USB or just slightly right after the, uh, the microphone or headphone jack here, as you can see. I just started off here and then I was able just to run it down gently here and then just run it upwards and then to the left side and on the other end. And once you've done that, it's pretty simple, you know what I mean? So just remember, just use a pick tool and just don't go too deep. And just remember, don't start it off in this corner here because the plastic here, as you can see, is about three millimeters thick, you know, so or one eighth of an inch thick. It's not that thick. So you don't want to be starting off here because then you could, you know, chance yourself and, and maybe break in the section here. So just start off about an inch up from here or just right after the headphone and microphone jack and then run it up and then gently run it downwards here. And it's pretty simple. And once you've done all of that, even onto the other side here, um, you can just simply remove the the bottom panel. And with this bottom panel here, just let you know, you don't have to worry about lifting it up, you know, quickly or tearing any wires apart because some models, you, they'll actually have wires that are connected to this bottom panel. So if you lift it too quickly, you can easily tear a bunch of wires apart. But with this model here, there's no wires attached to the bottom panel. So you can just simply just lift it upwards. And this is what it looks like. You know, so I mean, since you're just doing a hard drive replacement, which is, as you can see, is right in the top hand corner here. Um, you don't need to re you don't need to remove your battery, which is, is the disconnect here is because you'll have to normally remove the screws that's actually holding it together around here. One, two and a few other ones here. You don't have to disconnect the battery for a hard drive replacement. Um, if you're upgrading the RAM, as you can see here, there's an extra dim slot for this, you know, then I would highly recommend, you know, just just disconnecting your battery. And, and, and completely so that you don't you know run into any issues or when you're replacing your screen, that is 100% must. Um, but for a, for a hard drive replacement or an upgrade, you don't need to do that. And all you have to do is, I'll, I'll here, I'll get to a closer shot here with the hard drive. And as you can see here, there's, a, there's only two screws that's actually holding your hard drive together because this is the part here that's part of the motherboard that powers your, your hard drive here. So that there is completely fixed. There's not a cable uh, you know that you have to unplug. So the only two screws you have to remove is this one screw here for a hard drive caddy and this one here. So once you remove that, as you can see, um, there, there's a black tab here that's a part of the motherboard and there's a black one here. So once you lift this up, just wiggle it carefully and this whole bracket will come off. So once the bracket comes off, you can easily just slide your laptop to the left side here following my cursor and then the hard drive will come off that easily. And then you can just put in your new SSD in there. You know, and I'll show you another picture here just to give you a better example. As you can see here, you know, it, it's just I just lift it up and then it comes right off of the black tabs, which I was mentioning is there's one there and there's one right there, which is a part of the board.
you know, so just wiggle it carefully and then you can, you'll be able to remove your hard drive afterwards. And then what I'll do is, um, I'll do this here. I'll rotate it left so that you can have an idea. So, so as you can see here, I just pulled a hard drive going to the left side and it was just that simple, you know, and, you know, and I, I hope that this helps you guys, you know, it's a pretty, pretty simple, basic, uh, upgrade. So if you guys have any questions, anyways, just place the a comments or the questions, you know, on, on, in the comments in the video, and then I'll get back to you guys, you know, and, uh, and thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.